Hey, welcome back to Will's Garage. We are working on a little side project at the moment. Uh, I noticed as I was getting the primer ready underneath the body uh, of the Tudor here, uh, I was having a little bit of trouble getting the gun under there, getting myself under there, and uh, I really had a bit of a dust problem. So I know if I'm going to start working on uh, finishing up the outside of this body, getting it ready for paint, as well as getting a really good undercoat, uh, I kind of want it to be pretty slick, even though not a whole lot of people will see it, but if I have the chance to get the dust out of it now, then why not do that? So the easiest way uh, that seems to be the way to go is to actually build a rolling body cart. So it's a cart that sits underneath the body itself so I can roll it out of the garage. I can roll it into the paint booth side. You can see the back of it right here. Uh, I can roll it into the paint booth side so I can keep this side dirty, dusty, as I'm sanding, as I'm working on stuff, clear it off and then move it over to the paint side when it's time to work on that. So let me show you just the pieces that I've collected together out of the old steel bone yard uh, that I've been collecting. Right, this is the basic setup, basically the parts that we'll be using. I have eight inch caster wheels with brakes on them. I got those from Harbor Freight. I then had to cut myself just a couple of plates here with the holes drilled in them. And those plates will just match up to uh, the plates here. That way I can weld my stands. The caster wheels will sit on the bottom of those. And then you can see the length that we have here. This is actually one and a quarter inch square tubing. We'll then have these little stands that we've got going on. Little stands that'll go across the center there. That's actually what the body will rest on. Those stands also have the one and a quarter inch tubing. So they should all line up very nicely and sit on some length of this one inch tubing. Now I've gotten four six foot lengths of the one inch tubing that will give me a maximum width six feet by for one direction and six feet for the other I kind of measured some things already i really don't think i'm going to need to use that much length but it'll be good uh, adjustable uh, kind of thing so i'm going to start welding this stuff up
Well, as you can see, it worked. A little bit flimsy uh, when you push hard on the wheels, they kind of flex a little bit back and forwards just because that square tubing isn't a super tight fit. So I'm not sure if I'll make some changes there, but overall the cart rolls really smooth. I'm actually glad that I got caster wheels that had locking on them already because once you unlock this thing, it really wants to roll. So uh, that's probably the best news I could think of simply because there's gonna be a 500 pound uh, car body sitting on this after this frame is done. For now, we've got the frame testing out the rolling cart uh, because I'm getting ready to spray color. So I really just wanted to make sure that I positioned it in a way that I could spray as much of the frame as I could without, uh, without any areas that I have to go touch up later because the stands were in the way. So what I've actually used is, I've used the exhaust through, uh, through holes, just ran the pipe straight through the middle there because I don't really care what the inside of those through holes look like. The exhaust is going to be in the way. Aside from that, I can pretty much get around the frame, uh, get ready to paint. So um, yeah, I think that's gonna be the next project at this point.